It's the Dark Mon 2.04 with the just released mission, Police Desk 3, erasing the trail of paperwork on the police desk. Give it to Celestia. One in a row. In a city where every window is an eye and every doorway a whispering mouth, it's hard to keep a secret. When I learned of Crime Lord Archibald Flint's involvement in robbing me of the Grail of Regrets, I knew I'd have to strike quick and strike first. But I failed. By the time I got near his place on Fiddler's Hill, every gate to his hilltop mansion was locked, every alley patrolled by thieves eager to kill. Two days later, I watched my tenement go up in smoke and flames. The hunt was on, and it wouldn't be over until they'd have their quarry dead or captured. Flint's main enforcer is a man named Grunt, known to communicate in written orders after his throat was cut in some altercation. A real bloodhound. I'll have to deal with him one way or another to get the heat off my back and allow me to reach Flint himself. Flint is also looking for my dead body, and I'm planning to have it delivered right to his doorstep. Another underworld figure, Alms Master Quant lives a few streets from Grunt's mansion, and he's said to be my spitting image, an uncanny resemblance. Wonder if Flint will recognize the difference. Well, time to find out. Sometimes the only way to deal with a hornet's nest is to kick it over. This night, I'm back in the middle of it. I've already run into a pair of sentinels, but I slipped into a small garden and jammed the lock behind me with a bit of wire. Hope they don't raise the whole neighborhood, or this will be over real quick. Time to get moving. So, in Tudum 2.04, there's quite a few new features, but, uh, well, let's just take a look at this stuff. Take Grunt out of the equation any way you can. Kill Almsmaster Quant and carry his body to Penury Gate to make Archibald Flint think you're dead. Every local you steal around Cinder's End is a blow against your enemies. Acquire 2,000 locals or lucers. Get back to Walmart Gate when you're done. Oh, come on, I preloaded this. I seriously did. What are you doing? That doesn't look like proper loading. It's just clicking and clicking and clicking. Okay, so maybe features... I mean, it has a lot of bug fixes and a couple features, but anyways, let's take a listen. Well, that's, uh... That's a disappointment. It was nothing, and this gate seems busted too. Now what? Well, we keep searching. Flint's got a coffin ready for him at the gate, and uh, he wants to see him dead with his own two eyes. So, do we even know what this fellow's like? Well, he's, uh, he's thiefy and stuff. Just like the arms master, they say. So, how do we know we don't, you know, catch the arms master by accident? Well, you better stay home tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. So I vaguely remember the plot. Something was stolen from me. I was left on the street. I did something or other in revenge. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, what we got here, my friends, is the inventory grid. <laughs> yeah. Now this is not in replacement to the regular inventory. You still got the regular for when that's more convenient. But if you happen to have a ton of items, like, you know, things that don't fit neatly into a category or too many readables to really cycle through them efficiently, you can just call up your inventory grid and click an item. It's so good, you guys. Oh my god. It's great. Also, that, uh, that AI thing where they stand around in place forever and don't move. That's been fixed. So they move around and stuff now. And some other stuff to do with glass and things. Oh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and while I was at it, I took the opportunity to bind some more keys to stuff. So I don't have any rope arrows, but I got two noisemakers, six waters, ten broadheads, a short sword, and a partridge in a pear tree that shapes suspicious like some sort of black Xbox. But sure. And, by the way, I did play this for, like, three minutes or so just to, like, test the, uh, the bindings. Finally got working here. But, uh, yeah, this guy doesn't have lock picks, which... I don't remember that in detail, but, you know, sure. So, so I accidentally ended up playing a, a little bit here, but not too much. But I do happen to know that you can get up here, because I think that's the only thing you can do. You can't open this gate, and I guess you wouldn't want to either. There's a map. Whoa! And you got diapers walking, and you got marks all over the place, and, wow. I cannot believe I'm reading such a thing. It's highly 
erotically charged, but okay, so you, you gotta get up here, so right off the bat you're climbing, that's awesome, except it's a little tricky. Got it the first try the first time, but for some reason I... I swear this is possible, and it looks to be the only thing you can do as well. You have to kind of angle it weirdly. Yeah, like that. It's a little weird, but like, oh yeah, like right off the frickin' bat, you're up to bat and using baseball metaphors for American life. So you could go this way, or maybe this way. No, you can't go this way, which is unfortunate, but you can go on this roof if you want. I mean, I know there's this regular door, but who wants to go to a regular door? I mean, I know this regular door exists, I don't really know what's behind it besides just this. I didn't go in there. I did go up here, but not very far, so... Wow. Wow. I'm having a much harder time of it. Okay. Okay. Let's not exaggerate. Don't have any ropes. Probably will get some. Yeah, this is a real roofy top mission. And also, you kind of get hurt unless you want to use a water arrow, which I guess I will, actually. Now that I've had some fun times. Yeah, keep doing the same thing over and over, kids. So that's kind of weird. You can't put it out. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Okay, well, I guess this is a one-way trip for me. I'm a daring penny dreadful kind of guy. I spend a penny and put out the flame. See, that's the pun that should work, but unfortunately only AIs may spend a penny here and they have to do it out on the street somewhere whilst vulgarly talking about it in amusing fashion. Card playing crashing has also been fixed. I mean, I don't think I've experienced it myself, but, you know, some people have, so good on them, I suppose. This is... You know, the streets or something. And here's my first spoil of battle. A spoon. You know? Oh, oh, oh. Also, candle. Like, item clunking. Doesn't happen, because... Ah, oh, it's great. Well, I don't know. Aluminum Haste made a video demonstrating this stuff and explaining it properly without any pretense of goofiness such as this. But, uh, but basically, like, when you used to pick up items, it used to... Uh, sort of pop into the center of your view, and if that was, like, below the table, it would clang, you know what I mean? But nowadays, it doesn't clang, because it kind of stays raised until you start to manipulate it, and then it centers itself. It's kind of hard to see there, but... Oh. Dang it. That's not good. All right, you. Try following me up into the fire. Ha! You ain't gonna do that, are you? No! Oh, man, I'm the smart one. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, that, that didn't go like I hoped, but hey, you know, it's okay because I get rewarded with a loud penny dreadfulish bang and I, uh, you know, that sounds very penny dreadfulish, banging. <laughs> Dreadful indeed. Unlike life, which is wonderful indeed. But, uh, but hey, you know, whatever. That dude can go summon his buddies. Sounds like a fun activity to do. When you can't play Super Nintendo, you summon your buddies and complain about how you can't play it, because everyone's seen the future and they just can't wait to get into it with all kinds of technology and pollution and bigotry still happening as if we've regressed to the 1940s and, oh, I don't know, man. The City Tribune! Blah, 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 I know, blah. The misfortune of Lord Fairmeadow. There are still but scant details about the dolorous events which took place last week in Linnet's Gulch, a squalid alley between the scenic villas of Cascade Hills and Alderman's Redoubt. The discovery of a wrecked sedan chair belonging to Lord Fairmeadow and the disappearance of said lord and his young bride, Lady Ethel Harzing, caused great consternation in high society. Now, there are signs even worse, as investigation has uncovered a hovel inhabited by the lowest-liest sorts of beggars, where, clandestine sources report, charred and apparently chewed human remains were found along with a handful of golden buttons and shreds of clothing belonging to Lord Fairmeadow. Meadow and Lady Harzing. Whether more can be written about this horrifying turn of events, we cannot say, as the place is under ecclesiastic investigation, and the exact fates of the young lovers are yet to be determined. And my prose is so purple I could write for the front page of SDA. Oh! <laughs> Green Home is playing some rumple ball, so it's like, great. I love this rumple ball. This, this is by Milan and Biker Dude, and Milan has always got this rumple ball thing. It's quite hilarious, actually. Uh, okay, our readers respond. 
upon a legal distinction, VI01. Sir, while your correspondent may freely fret all he wants about the current state of the courts in our fair city, and heap calumny on the better what are these words? On the barristers who keep them running, let me remind the author that it is the same courts that protect him from being robbed, swindled, or beaten to death by the unruly mob, or even honest readers who no longer put up with his slander. The presence of six separate systems of precedent and the codified laws of the fundamental edicts used in cases pertaining to religious matters are a tried and true system, even with their imperfections. In any event, let it be known that I am hereby cancelling my subscription to your rag of a journal. The Honorable Percival Melchett Grald Esquire, a very fine lady... A, a very fine lady... Oh, wait, a very fine lady wrote the next thing. Oh, okay. I thought Percival was a lady. Whoa, that's crazy. Also, Percy Percy is a black adder thing and Melchit is a black adder. I don't know who Grald is, though. Sir, your portrait of my life, while flattering, is highly exaggerated. The three husbands, I admit, but all of them I loved with my full heart while they lived. The rest, I would say, are the products of your wild imagination and reflect on your character alone, an appraisal of which being an exercise I will leave to the reader, Lady Irene Montague. Hmm. That's from an unrelated mission, that name. Well, I mean, it's just a name, but hey, you know, whatever. I think it's like shadowing the enemy or the enemy within or freaking something. I I don't know. It's, it's some kind of thing. God, I can't remember what it is, but that's a damn nice looking chair. If that was virtual reality, I'm sure I would say the exact same thing. Who dog? Also, this journal is not quite as much of a rag if they will bother to print readers' stories slandering them and calling them such all the time, so like, good on you, oh, very, very, very excellent, clapping right into the mic, oh, 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 very, very, very good, also, uh, you know, big noise warning, so, uh, watch out, and, you know, I accidentally clicked my mouse button once, and then I, in celebration, I clicked it more times, because, you know, I... I'm out of keys. The dark mod has so many keys, and the inventory grid was one key too many, so I had to bind it to a mouse button, and that was pretty f Oh yeah, no lockpicks. Oh, jeez, skooma man. Go away. Hey, drop that weapon. Oh, Don't Christ. move! I can't do nothing. Wait, do I have a flash- Oh no, I saved! Yeah. Oh, Whoa! Damn, I can't see. Oh, what? I can't- Am I allowed to kill? I am. Shh. Drop that weapon! Ow. Damn it! One less criminal to worry about. Well, I'm gonna have to restart. You know, they say they slightly improved the uh, loading times for missions, but uh, when this mission gets reloaded, it's pretty slow. Although they're normally almost instant once you load them once. But anyways, technical time. Yeah, this is weird. Like, I must be doing something wrong here because. I can barely get up onto this friggin' thing like ever. It's really... How could this not have been caught? It's right at the start. I'm probably supposed to climb these or something. Maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to climb vines. No. Am I? Probably, actually, then, maybe? Yeah. Okay, well, that explains that then. So, unfortunately, my little romp was of an unfortunate nature, but... Uh, but here I am up here, so I guess I'll leave. Well, hmm, I guess I'll go get the gold because I'm a greedy sod who makes pennies on the penny, which is actually, you know, I make more than than exists in this example equation, so I'm not sure how the hell that works out, but uh, hey, mathematics was always my super strong point if it was relevant. So, you know, oh man, let's see this, let's see this again, let's see this again. Brilliant. Although I go and clang it anyway, because, you know, I'm used to it, and gosh knows we can't change. That would just be indecent. I mean, don't look, I'm changing. You know? You're not a changeling, as I thought. You're just changing clothes. And I was very disappointed when I heard such a line, because, uh, you know, obviously I want to see a changeling change. I don't care about watching somebody strip naked and then put on other clothes. I mean... Boring! Am I completely correct or friggin' what here, you guys? I'm dead friggin' joke in here. That looks like a thing. But isn't? It's meant to make you think it is because it looks like thief where it's like stuff is different. So therefore. Oh. I sneaked up on someone, huh? Something over there. Somebody, somebody thinks I'm sneaking up on them. Don't move! Take the 
I got him cornered here. The gasp of doom, unfortunately, is something I have to had to have let out. Y you know what I'm saying. All right, you guys. Wow. Well, you know, the AI is more dynamic and walks around and stuff, so, you know, there's that. I, I don't... Um, I don't... You can call me Grandpa John Finn. Talking and mumbling and fixing VCRs all up the place. Sigh. Hmm. Ah, uh, uh, I see you there this time, buddy. No wonder this room is all emptified. So apparently this is one of those sweet missions where you go around finding airplane propellers and possibly wishing and hoping upon hope that your airplane could fly away. Now, oh, 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 a bulletin board up in an attic. What is this madness? All honest citizens are to type N over and over. I requested to look out for any sign of the thief who had broken into Messer Halman's Balman's Salman's aviary. Purloining divers valuables, including one fine sphere of filigreed gold with gem incrustations. A generous reward has been announced by M. Halman for news on this hall. Yeah, the H is lowercase, because, sure, why not? It's just like Dr. Fitch. Notice, all able-bodied men are ordered to search for the thief who has despoiled the salon of Lady Fandissa al-Asri, incapacitating the company gathered therein with soporific gases and absconding with silverware and two valuable paintings of the old masters ere the guard could apprehend him. Signed, Lugo Thambardi of the Second Cavaliers. Looks like somebody is bragging about his or her spoils here. <laughs> Drake, perhaps I can murder you too. Lucius, the big boss is all right, just going through a phase where he's all about the woo stuff. It's unhealthy. Say what you will about the builders. Useless old fools that they are. They've got the right idea about pagan idolatry. I'll leave that well alone, thank you. The love of a fine girl, a comfortable life, or a just business for business's sake, those I get. I suppose Archibald will snap out of it one day, recognize what a darn fool he has been, and that'll be the end of it. But back to business. He's got me sniffing out the coronet in Downlock. There'll be a party there, and Duke Wimpold is invited. Got any hints on the approach? May not be hard to slip in incognito, but with the heavy guard they've got and the cul-de-sac it is, it'd be a death trap on the way out. Oh, looks like I might wish to take up such a task. Because, you know, I'm the best thief there ever was. Oh, I see. So I'm up here just to get some sort of hint and some nice little flavor. Cool. Sweet. That's Dublin's mansion. Okay. <laughs> Somebody has been celebrating rather a lot here. Also, also some loot. Okay, well, that that's like a fair trade-off, although I've alerted the whole frickin' town, so... Not necessarily fair, but, you know, I've alerted the whole town because I'm a good player, so... Just remember that and... You'll be fine. But you... Oh, I've alerted you too, eh? Don't clack it that much. Especially since I can't deal with you. Yeah, expert is expert. Boy, I sure hate when I pick a difficulty and it actually lives up to what it's freaking supposed to be. Who... Boy, is that gold or just... No, it's a light. Okay, well, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah, I don't think I can... I don't think I can do nothing with this guy. Yeah. I almost think that it should clang if you can't knock him out ever. And if you can knock him out, but sh but he's just alerted, then it should thump. But, like, that's just my freaking opinion. How am I supposed to get over there, anyways? Oh, shoot. Okay. But I'm gonna need a key for everything, though. Oh. Wasn't there a key on somebody? Oh, there was a key... I think there might have been a key on that guy walking around over there that I love. Whoa. That's a neat shape. Everybody's out to kill me and stop me from talking the goof. Who would do such a thing? Uh, I don't have anything to light it with. Alrighty. Well. 
How am I gonna... What made that sound? How am I gonna get back to that other rooftop without burning myself alive? I guess I'm not. So... Here come... The, uh, snickering man of evil laughter of the devil. This is... The devil's fence. It's not a fence, but that's why it's the devil's fence, because the devil is the king of lies. <laughs> he calls a room a fence to trick you. See, you gotta beware of him. I don't like my health. I, uh, hmm. I'm in a funny place where I, you know, restart the mission a whole bunch of times and look like an idiot, but, you know, hey. <sighs> what? Dog meat! Whatever. <sighs> Third restart, let's do it! Alright, well, it really looks like I should be able to put that fire out. I don't really get what's the deal. I mean, it was cute at first, but now it just kind of burns my rump and turns it into a pig roast. So, uh, je vous présente Giga Bowser, and nuts to that. Okay? Okay. Let's go the safe route. Shall we? No grunts allowed. Just kind of standing around here. Okay. Damn it! I'm not tolerating your your crap today, Mister. Aha, or I am. I, I should probably have played on non-expert then, because no matter what I do, I'm just having one of those days where I question my self-purpose here. I'm like, oh, 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 am I a bad player? Am I a good player? Am I a mud player? Am I the ruler of chessboard land? Do I enjoy coal or rotten eggs better? You eating something or smoking a cigarette? Taking a skooma piece of gum there, you know? That's good on you, mate. Quit that skooma smoking. I don't think you smoke skooma, you drink it, but you know, hey, whatever. Gum, I'm sure, is. Oh, God. Oh, Careful. 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 It's only one letter away from Murful, and then you've got problems with the ladies. Wow, this Someone guy there. is slippery. Like a worm. You can tell he's a worm because he's skinny and wears a hood over his eyes. Worms have evil eyes and that's... That's why they have to hide them. It's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure you've got a key. I'm pretty sure. No, you've just got like a really... Oh, you do. Okay. I mean, it's a tenement key. Nothing to really do with anything... Except... For here. So it's something to do with something. But I'm sure you know what I'm trying to say. Well, he's growing some mushrooms. That's not exactly skooma, but... You know, hey. It's close enough. Okay, acquired. This guy's a stealer of notes. How dastardly can you get? Lads, when you return, we must talk about that shroom patch of yours. Landlord don't like it, but I'm also getting a funny feeling it doesn't belong. I've not been sleeping well lately. That damn thing's all a flicker, and there's the damp smell to boot. Heard some stories, too, of fellows who died coughing up blood, or who were found with the mold sprouting in them throats. Creeps me right out. Put it simply, the thing goes or I do. Lads? Is your name Lads or are you talking to a bunch of lads but addressing them as if they were singular? I don't know. Either way, it's a terrible crime. I'm certain of it. So this guy is murdering others and himself with mushrooms. Excellent work there. Uh, great job. Make sure to pass muster for your house code before it gets demolished and turned into a hotel that it can't be because you have to... Take the spruce trees into consideration. Endangered spruce trees, the worst kind. They must be eliminated at all costs. So, uh, the Octagon Weird. It definitely is a weird album, and uh, especially the last part of the portmanteau. I much prefer uh, Deltron 3030. Okay, Book of Enigmas. The Octagon Weird. A lineage of old wards that... the. A lineage of old wards the place. He here be monstrous offerings cast into a pit with princely riches. Yet, where they moulder, can one their bounty rob? A sentinel above is the key, and another below the solution. Grab the wisdom from beneath strangling airs, and the rewards be thine. Is that the mushroom place? Maybe not. The lion's head. This enigma is thus. He guards the egress, and the gate he oversees is a passage to nether mysteries. Yet he does, as he watches the vanguard, at once see behind, and here be another weird. Poured upon his plate that which he craves, and goodly morsels heap, and thus shall you find enlightenment. Enlightenment? Damn. That seems worth a little food pouring to me. The architect's repose. Tis 
un... Tis an entrance that hides the entrance, a visage that conceals the vision, and there is more than meets the eye. A... an... an conclave? An conclave there is little harm. Okay. Yet it tames the beast. Seek... an longclave. In... What? Seek the... And conquer. Seek the contradiction. He who rushes the enigma to grasp shall never its threshold pass. And conclave. In conclave there is little harm. Okay. I don't know. I, I can't read this, so I'm going to leave it here. So see you guys next time for more disgusting mouth noises. And uh, bye for now.